Hey there, amplifiers. Thank you for tuning in. Now, if you've been following some of my recent stories and videos, maybe you've seen that I've had some recent victories. You know that goal that where you read the book, Think and Grow Rich, and you put it on an index card? Turns out if you have focus, discipline, and consistent persistence, you can achieve those goals. But you know what? If you achieve more money, you could find that you're paying more money unless you know how to avoid paying taxes. Which brings in our welcome guest, his CPA, uh, tax planner, and an uh, expert when it comes to helping people keep more of their hard-earned money. I would like to welcome to Growth Amplifiers, Dion Norris. Dion, thanks for being here today. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, thank you for the kind words as well. Well, it's exciting to have you here because that is something that happens a lot of the time. You know, we, we get money, through, whether it's through our job or through our business, and then typically the tax person takes out their amount. And what I've come to see is a lot of times people be like, well, I, I went to my CPA and they helped me write some things off. And so uh, I'm good to go. But <laughs> what's the challenge with that thought process? So the challenge with that is the way of thinking where when you, when you're doing tax preparation during the course of tax season, it really is just filing what actually happened during the previous year, but there's no thought behind how to strategize and how to minimize your taxes during the course of the year. So what I like to tell a lot of my clients that take uh, that do the tax planning with us is we are actually writing what you are going to report during tax season. So whether that is maxing out your 401ks or various strategies when it comes to real estate investments or even construction or import export companies, we have time throughout the course of the year to see what you can qualify for and what the impact will be during tax season. So we are actively planning what will happen during the course of the year. That way, when you go into tax season, you already know what should happen. So we're just actually following your return. And that is what we find is the misunderstanding of what actually happens during tax season, where people are trying to do that planning portion during tax season. And that's not the time to be doing it because you run into deadlines and, and things of that nature when certain things can be done. So it's all about being proactive. You know, that makes a lot of sense. I've had the opportunity to connect with different CPAs mm -hmm. and I've, I've even connected with uh, people who are, you know, bookkeepers who help out with, with getting some tax filing uh, done yeah. and that you're right. That time gets so busy and people are just trying to help all their clients get done what needs to be done in a condensed time frame, And then it's like, it's crunch time. It's, it's yep. not time to, to strategize. It's just time to make things happen at that point. And so if you're just looking at taking care of what happened in the past, but you're not looking ahead of how can we do things differently? You're missing the boat. So yeah. uh, when exactly, it, exactly. I, I, I love that. So when, it, when it comes time to reevaluate like mm -hmm. people have they start off in their career or they start off with their business and as they grow yeah. they may start making more money they get into different tax brackets mm -hmm. and that opens up some different opportunities what advice could you help with people that may have increased their revenue or their income through time uh -huh. but they they haven't really uh uncovered the different rocks they haven't really looked thoroughly in what they could do as far as the tax plan or being proactive. What are some recommendations that you'd have for them to consider? So probably one of the first recommendations I would have is find someone who you're comfortable with, who you're willing to work with, where you can build that relationship. Because if you are price hopping when it comes to that advice, you're always going to hear something different. You're never going to have that trust person that you, you can go to uh, where you can ask questions throughout the course of the year um, that knows about life events because you've been ha you've had that communication throughout the course of the year. So it's one finding someone that you can really work with for the long term, not not the short term. And then two, being proactive about the, uh, the engagement that you have with that person, asking questions, being receptive to advice. 
One thing I always tell my clients is I will tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, because then I would not be doing my due diligence by being basically a yes man and telling you what you can do when I know you can't be doing, you can't do something. So you want someone who's going to be honest with you. So you have a realistic picture when it, when you get to a certain point of what you can and cannot do and what your options are. So those are probably my, my two, my two biggest ones uh, as far as moving up because I, I, it's a blessing when you can see someone where they started out and five years from now where, where they're at and being able to help, help them along the way. Because when you get in certain barriers, we can map out that, that roadmap five, 10 years down the road. And that's something that I, const, I constantly, constantly talk to my clients about where a lot of them are focused just solely on this year, where I'm looking at your long-term future. Uh, decisions that you make now can affect you down the road. So are you really sure that you want to do this? Uh, so it is given that holistic, holistic viewpoint when clients get to a certain income level or hitting a certain threshold in their businesses of what you cannot do if you decide to do something this year, this how can impact you down the road. Is it the best option to do it this year? One of those is actually, I would say, depreciation when it comes to a vehicle, trying to write off the entire vehicle, where I've actually talked a lot of clients out of doing that based on where I know where they want to go in two or three years. And if they were to do that, it would hurt them in the long run. You see, having that insight is really helpful because – Oh, thunder. <laughs> Having that insight is really helpful because you, you can't see your blind spot. You don't know what you don't know. And yep. an expert like yourself who knows the tax laws uh, can, like if you're playing chess and someone can see several moves ahead, you can see through the tax matrix and help people make better decisions than it might be counterintuitive, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. I really like your advice. Number one, you got to find someone that you, you trust yeah. and that you're, you're willing to partner with through time because an advisor like a CPA should be a long-term relationship, not just, yeah. just check the box. And then the second piece of advice, um, you know, you want to find somebody that will tell you what you need to know and will be proactive about it too. Yeah. I've, I've hired people in the past that they're, they're like, they, they'll just get, they'll check the boxes of getting stuff done, but mm -hmm. they're not helping you move forward. And to me, that's, that's a disservice. I mean, maybe it's because they, they don't know any better. I don't know, but I'm, I'm all about being proactive. I, I appreciate it. I am as well, because that is how I'm adding value to your life and, in and, and basically allowing you to in, achieve your goals. So I will sit down with my clients, see what their goals are for the future. Okay, and now we, now that we know where you where you want to go, let's let's walk backwards and map out a game plan in order to get you there. It's all about being proactive, and that's something that I constantly stress because that, as you as you mentioned earlier, when when you are trying to work with a client, if I if you're just transacting transacting once a year with someone, it is really hard to have those touch points and know the insights into what's going on in your life. If I'm only talking to you during tax season. It, it, so constantly having those dialogues throughout the course of the year is going to be key and having the, those discussions. So you are actively game planning for tax instead of just waiting during tax season. Hey there, this is Kenny from Growth Amplifiers here to ensure you get your awesome ideas into action to grow and improve your business and achieve your full potential. Take the first step by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the start here button. Take the assessment to get your personalized score. Then select from free resources to learn how to improve your score. Don't wait. Be proactive and take action now by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the start here button. And always keep on amplifying. Now, let's get back to the show. I love the idea. So I started it with, you know, Think and Grow Rich. It's a great yes. book for people who want to use their minds, think smarter. Mm -hmm and work smarter, not harder. Yeah. And then they want to keep more that they have. And speaking of books, um, what's a book that you read and that you would recommend to others who are looking to improve their, their mindset and things of that nature? Oh, great that you asked. Actually, a book called Good to Great. It is a, a very good read. You don't just have to be a business owner in order to uh, read this book, but it gives you a lot of insight into how to adapt and change with the times in order to be successful. Uh, there, there are countless studies um, 
for instance, during the Great Recession of companies who tried to react too late to the change of times end up going out of business. So it is a great read on constantly being able to adapt, modernize, and change um, for not only your, in your personal life, but also in your, your professional life as well. I like that book. This Jim Collins. Is that right? It is Jim Collins. Yes, it is. All right. So we've got great books. Um, what's a what's a tool that you use that you find effective um, that you use in your practice? Something that might be helpful for others who um, might might do similar sort of work or just in general, how do you use it? Okay. So one of the tools that, that we have implemented is called Canopy. Um, it's, a, it's more of a practice management system. And the reason we implemented that is one, at any given time, I can go into Canopy, see when, who's working on what tax return, what documents are outstanding. And it's a way not only to hold the people in my firm accountable, but also the clients accountable as well. And what I mean by that is when we're waiting on documents for them, um, gone are the days where we have to go and remember whose documents we, we, re we requested, what we requested for, uh, requested them for. So what we can do in Canopy is allows you to set up automated reminders. So once you set everything up the very first time, you don't have to worry about it again. So it, it will constantly remind the client if they haven't sent us the documentation that we need. So it's a way of helping automate that, that process so it's not such a manual burden on us. And also one thing that I love about Canopy is it, is, it comes with an app. So not only can you log on, log on your computer or your, 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 uh, your tablet, but you also you can log into the app. And the way that people consume information now, you spend most of your time browsing on your phone or a tablet. So being able to have an app where you can just get a push notification, you can go online, I'm sorry, you, you can go right into the app. If you need to upload docs, you can take a picture of the documents and upload it. We get the notification. So it's trans, it, it is transforming how we communicate with our clients and the ease of access in which they can get us their information has really transformed how we do business. And it is a great, great software that we're using. That is incredible. And uh, I was just smiling and laughing a little bit because it reminded me of just like other technology, like, like Google Maps. I, I don't yeah. know how we got to different cities and different, like different people's right. houses in cities without right. having like GPS guiding us there. <laughs> now, now thinking about going back to not having something that tells me do this, do this, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd get. I don't even want to know how many days in my life I'd lose. <laughs> when, when I was younger, I remember driving across the country where it was the big Atlas maps that you, you had to purchase at the gas station. <laughs> yeah. Those things were fun to fold yeah. up. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so for those people who may have been listening in and they're interested to say, uh -huh. hey, maybe I could use a fresh perspective. Uh, to see if there's some things I could be doing with my taxes that maybe, you know, someone's doing it now, but they, they haven't really been telling me anything. They haven't been really be giving me any advice. Maybe I'd, I'd like to learn more. Where could they go and what should they do? So there is a, a lot of information on, on YouTube or social media. The only caveat I would have with that is that a lot of times they don't tell you the full story in those mm -hmm. little 15 second uh, clips. So, whether you know you can reach out to to us or to me and my firm or just a local CPA to see if they even offer tax planning or tax strategies because a lot of people do not do that. Um, some people just offer tax preparation. So you want someone who offers that service and is willing to g give you advice and have a consultation with you because there is a major difference between tax planning and tax preparation. Definitely. So, um, Dion, if, if people want to learn more about you and your business, where, where should they go and what could they do? So they can go to um, www.norrisaccountingservice.com. You can look us up on Google. Um, we'll, we'll show up there. We, we have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, a variation of Nor Norris Accounting and tax services. You, you can look up or you can just go to our main, our webpage and you, it'll link out to all of our pages at the bottom of the webpage. Excellent. And uh, as a final closing thought, one of the ways we wrap these interviews up is if you could share something that you've learned on your journey right. that might be helpful for others on theirs, it could be related to your, your expertise or it could be just a life lesson that you've learned. What's something that you'd care to share? Your network now will define where you're at five years from now. 
And what I mean by that is who is in, who do you talk to about, about life in general on a personal side or about business? Cause you always want to be with someone who has done what you're trying to do and can give you insights into how to get there um, a lot faster and avoid some of the pitfalls. Uh, I can, I've been helped tremendously by my network, by people who have done what I'm trying to do and build a business and who have been there and are very successful with what they do and having that knowledge by them and just being able to speak to them is setting me apart as I go on that same, that same course. So it is all about communication, networking, and just sort of immersing yourself in people who are smarter than you. Cause I, you know, a lot of times you never, if you're the smartest person in, in the room, you need to look for a new room to be in because <laughs> you want to be able to soak up the knowledge from everyone who is around you. All right, that's a great advice. There's always an opportunity to learn from other people. Yeah. Uh, when we can get in the mindset, like I know everything we are, we are not thinking right. Cause we never can know everything. We always have a blind spot. There's always an opportunity to amplify. So Dion, that's thank great. you for joining in. Thank you for being the awesome ray of sunshine that you are and providing the value that you do to this world. It makes a big difference. And if you're tuned into growth amplifiers, make sure that you share your comments like put your um, support in the comments as well. We would like to see that. If you have questions, put it in there. We'll try to get back to you at some point in the future. Dion, thank you again for being the guy you are, and I look forward to connecting again in the future. Thank you very much. To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.